A career in front of and behind the mic, training some of the biggest names for the BBC on some of the biggest shows around. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Welcome to today's episode of Get A Better Broadcast Podcast and Video Voice. So the best word on the beat of a sentence makes it more powerful and is the rhythm that we're used to hearing for dramatic or comic effect by creating, as I mentioned yesterday, tension, interest and emphasis. So yesterday we looked at a couple of jokes and saw how the tension is being tightened, getting tauter and tauter until the release of the last word and the last word in the sentence with that punchline is the one that normally you would be stressing or emphasising for comic effect in that case with the jokes but also that's what happens naturally as well. So let me give you a couple of examples today with a couple of news scripts today. Okay. The mood between the Prime Minister and the President has gone from bad to worse today because of the new trade war. That doesn't have as much weight as the new trade war has led to the mood between the Prime Minister and the President going from bad to worse. Do you see? Hopefully you can feel and hear that there is a bit of a difference between those two sentences where you're leaving the resolution, the resolve of what is happening right to the end because it is almost understood that there is a new trade war. It's been called because of the new trade war. So that much we know already. That's presumed information that we already got. But we need to know what is the new. The new information is the mood between the Prime Minister and the President, which has gone from bad to worse. So it makes sense to have that new information as the punchline, if you like, to those two sentences. If you want to have a look back at those two sentences, I've replicated those in the show notes. Got another example for you here now. Police say the body of a man has been found in the remains of City Hall that caught fire at the weekend. Now, do you think that's good or do you think it could be better? Is it okay as it is? Or do you think a change would make it better or worse? Let me say that to you again. And you may also want to look ahead in in, in the show notes as well. Police say the body of a man has been found in the remains of City Hall that caught fire at the weekend. Again, look back at what I said a few moments ago. What is the presumed information? What's the information that people already know because it's been around for a few days? Yeah? It's that there was a fire at City Hall at the weekend. So if you really want to have a bit more of effect and emphasis, you're going to be putting the new information at the end of the story or at the end of the sentence in this case. So I would suggest that it's going to be easier for you to read, easier for people to understand. It's going to have much more effect and understandability, if you like, if you swap around a couple of those bits of information, a couple of those facts, to change it to, Police investigating a fire at City Hall at the weekend have found the body of a man inside. Yeah? Hopefully I've explained that okay. Here's a quote, and the quote comes from a book called Broadcast Journalism. It's one of my books. You may want to look it up. But, uh, and it, and it, it goes like this. this. This is what I wrote there. With radio, people tend to listen with half an ear. So... The first few words of a news item may easily slip by unnoticed, so avoid putting key words right at the beginning. And I could add to that, instead put the key words, the new information, at the end. I'm Peter Stewart. Tomorrow, cut the number of numbers to make a script more understandable, as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.